Well, our final um, victim this morning, uh, Sadish Seema is here. He's got two runners all in the same race, Surfer and uh, Gold City, running in the Godolphin Mile. And uh, I don't know whether you heard what Doug had to say, but uh, all about the draw seems to be the key to the <coughs> mile. So is that how you see it, or do you see it as a different looking race? Mm, that is the main factor. Um, with this uh, track and the new surface, you have to run the American style. You have to just jump out and be in the dominant position. Um, until unless you are a, come from back horse or a, or a you know off the pace horse, which is rare in a in a distance like this. But um, uh, yes, it is important. Okay. Well, let's first. Talk about your two, Surfer and Gold City. I mean, it, it is clearly a very competitive race. Draw might be in, in factor, but talk about Surfer first up and the way the season has progressed and how it came into the race. And just an hour ago, we gave him his final, uh, Surfer and Gold City, the final work this morning. And very pleased, uh, Surfer gave as usual sparkling work. And uh, Gold City, he is uh, he's a different character, he's too, so laid back or never works to his full potential at home. But uh, on the race day, he's different. So happy with both of them uh, this morning. And uh, uh, Surfer, I know he's a local, local pop, popular horse, and he's been there around for a few years. Very genuine horse, loves the surface. If everything goes right, like you said earlier, with a draw, anywhere from one to six or seven. We are happy. It's all about the draw for this. We have a lot of, <laughs> lot of trainers anxiously waiting for the draw, but you just feel that he's done and that keeps doing, give, he's also keeps on giving as far as, it, is that Yes, he is, he's very genuine. I mean, it just, uh, you know, things happen uh, in the race. There are traffic, there is uh, this or that. But other than that, I'm, I'm going into the race very confident. Uh, and as of this morning, the horse is in top form. Uh, like I said, he worked uh, sparkling work this morning, and uh, very happy with that. And Gold City, I mean, are you singling out one or the other, or? or? Gold City is uh, he he hasn't uh, really uh, done any fireworks in his performance earlier. He's just been the second, thirds, and all that, but behind some great horses, good good uh, handicap horses. Uh, he could be, he's, he's always there. You know, we, we are never disappointed with his work. But at the same time, we've never picked up a big cup with him. Um, last year, he ran fourth in the, the Godolphin Mile. And um, he ran a very good second the other night uh, in the carnival. So he's a horse, if given the right pace, right uh, uh, his way, I think he could surprise. So, I mean, fourth last year, so obviously you're feeling that he's... Have you got him in the same sort of form as you had 12 months ago? I think he's in a slightly better form. And, but if you have to ask me within my two horses, of course, I'm going to pick Surfer. And, uh, and Gold City, is, he's eligible for the... Very much eligible for the race, and I think he belongs there. OK, well, this is the 20th running of the Dubai World Cup. <coughs> Talking to Doug about the whole transformation of the, of the place since those early days. I mean, it, it, do you still sort of think this is an incredible sort of journey that's been happening, what's been happening here? Yes, very, I'm very proud and lucky to be part of this, this whole 20, right from the beginning. And even before the World Cup, we had the Jockeys Challenge, which was a big thing for us when we started, and the international jockeys would come, and we would have kind of a, uh, mini miniature World Cup level kind of races. Uh, of course, we didn't have many group races those days, but World Cup will, for a person like me who's been here from day one, it's a very special 20 years and hopefully ongoing. And uh, I have been, I've been very fortunate to be there every year and mostly participating too. And your best memory then over those years, what was, that was standout? I think the two, two, two stand out the most, the first World Cup, Cigar, the Great Cigar, and then Dubai Millennium. Very electrifying race and a very electrifying World Cup.
I mean, he was just something which would excite even a non-racing racing person when you watched him. So, yes, these two would be my two most uh, memories. And if you have win with Sir from Gold City, then uh, that might be all right. Oh, definitely. I mean, two years ago we got uh, we had uh, the we won the sprint, the Golden Shaheen. Unfortunately, Ronaldo wasn't one hundred percent this year, so uh, we were going to go for a double for him, but uh, things didn't work out. Well, best of luck on Saturday night. But, Thank you uh, very much. Any questions? Fine. Uh, they they did uh, four furlongs. Yeah, I mean, Surfer did his uh, forty six and change, and uh, Gold City, like I said, he never, he's never a sparkler at home, so he did like something like forty eight and change. Yeah. Sorry. Yes, that's okay with us. Uh, we'll be right about uh, it. It actually suits us if they do make the pace. Uh, surfer can deal with that, whether somebody is making the pace or he's up there. But um, if they do, it's a great uh, advantage for my other horse, Gold City, which he, he loves a strong pace. So, so that'll be that'll be nice for both of them. I think you're spot on because the race, I mean, for the past many years, this is the strongest Godolphin mile I have seen and very competitive. I, I mean, it's just a matter of I'm bullish on my horse because he is a solid miler. He's improved. And then Tamarkaj is another one which uh, has shown a lot. Uh, in this la this last carnival, uh, past carnival, and uh, he he is a, he's another one which I would look at. And these, I mean, I'm just going with the two, two one or two or three horses, but I hope it's me. <laughs> <laughs>